Johnny, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm feeling I'm good. good. It was release day. <laughs> yes, yes, it's exciting. Um, well, first, I wanted to wish you a happy belated birthday. I know you just turned Thank 16. You. That's yes, really man. cool. Yes, was, man. It, was it a good birthday for you? Yeah, I mean, my birthday is on, on Thanksgiving most of the time, so it's always good. <laughs> I definitely feel my belly up. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into talking about your new work and everything you're doing. Um, it's very exciting, and I'm just happy to be talking to you today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So a pattern I've noticed with your work is, you know, like a lot of serious dramas, but it's also a lot of stories about real people going through real issues. Um and I thought that was really interesting. And I wondered what attracts you to these types of roles and really telling stories about people who may not normally have their stories told. Well, I like challenging roles because I feel like they make me better as an actor. And I also like to put myself on these type of serious projects because I like to portray like somebody else's reality, if that makes sense. Like, somebody else can relate to what I'm doing. Sure. Yeah. And that definitely comes across. And I had the chance to watch the trailer for How I Learned to Fly. I'm super excited about it. And I was really touched by it. And I was happy to hear about how you worked with the director to really give an authentic portrayal of your character who has high functioning autism. And I know that you have a cousin who has autism and I have a cousin too, which is really cool. Um, and I think that's really important that you want to tell the story as respectfully as possible. So I wondered, like, what does this portrayal mean to you um, in terms of being that representation um, for your cousin and, you know, so many children and adults who have autism? Yeah, you know, me and Mr. Simon, we sat down and we wanted to make sure because with my cousin, my cousin's high functioning. He's, he has autism mm -hmm. and you can't you can't tell that he has autism. Like you wouldn't be able to tell at all, like the little things he does, certain people could maybe pick out, but you can't really tell. And we wanted to show how you can't you can't really tell when it comes to that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, like it's different for everybody and you, it's important to show that range of how it can affect people. So I think that's amazing. And, you know, in the film, you worked alongside Marcus and I wanted to know, I'm a big fan of Marcus. I'm sure you are too. Um, what did you love about the story of self-discovery um, rooted in the Black community? And kind of, I feel like this is a different Black story than we're used to seeing. Yes, ma'am. I feel like it's really a beautiful story about love and family and really just brotherhood. Because Daniel and Eli, they were all that they had. The two of them were all that they had. They just woke up and the parents were gone. So now they got to find a routine and something to do every day. And they're looking out for each other. Yeah. And I thought that was really sweet. And, you know, that like brother relationship, it was very believable. And you guys were great together. And I'm, I'm so excited. It amazing. It was amazing working with Marcus. I've seen him around before, but this is our first time to really get to know each other. And we definitely had a bunch of laughs behind the scenes. He's He's hilarious. And I feel like people will definitely be pleasantly surprised with his performance in this because he doesn't really do roles like this per se but he definitely did a phenomenal job everybody did yeah i was gonna say it's gonna be cool to see him be serious and not you know the goofball but that's cool um and i also have been told that you have aspirations to get into the music industry and i saw that you've already started promoting some music uh what would it mean for you to be kind of like a triple threat within the entertainment industry and you know spread your wings into different avenues exactly so when it comes to my music i'm i want to merge my music and my acting together because i want to be a music supervisor. I want to be the one who picks out the little sounds because when you watch those movies, a horror movie, any type of movie, the little sounds are really what put it together if you think about it. So I want to be a music and I want to be a music supervisor and I also want to score a movie. I want to get my music in TV shows, the ones I'm acting in, not the ones I'm acting in. I want to, I really, I really want to take it there. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. I would love to see you do that. 
I like that. I like the plan too. All the different areas. Nice. Got to manifest. Got to manifest it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and my last question for you is, you know, you've worked with so many amazing people throughout your career and, you know, you're only 16. You've done so much. It's crazy to me. Um, yeah. Is there anyone that you really want to work with, especially as you're getting older um, and diving into more work? Um, this could be music or, you know, like your acting career. Is there anybody that you're manifesting working with? Mm, I'm willing to work with anybody who is willing to work with me. <laughs> I'm gonna put it out. There's nobody in particular, but man, I'm a, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep saying Denzel. Mr. Denzel, oh. holla at me. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes. I, I'm manifesting that for you. That's gonna be <laughs> great. Um well, I really appreciate your time today and best of luck with everything you're doing. And I'm gonna be looking out for you being the music supervisor. Thank you. And everybody go watch How I Learned to Fly. You can go to filmmovement.com to see the limited theaters it's in. Ooh, and right. it's on stars in February. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.